Okay, so we're now going to do um, a little one of us punches, one of us defends. So I'm going to try and punch Connor. How long have I got? 30 seconds. Okay. In 30 seconds, can I land a punch? Or how many can how I many land? Can how many can I land? Like I broke my jaw in training, obviously. Yeah, yeah, that used to always happen, like, as in, the uppercut came through and then I wouldn't be able to eat, because, you know, like, That's here. what I had, but mine was broken. But I do get that, you get the aches here, and mm. you can't really get your, you bite your tongue and all that, it's horrible. Yeah. But, yeah, it's just, no. it, is, it is what it is, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? I didn't know what I signed up for, to be fair. Yeah. And now, um, I used to get my head punched in by Ricky Burns, Kevin Mitchell, Martin Wall, all of them when I first come down here. Does it ever get to a point where you're like, yeah, I don't, don't know if I really want to do this. <laughs> nah, 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 it's got to a stage now where it's like... Um, standard. Standard, yeah. standard, do you know what I mean? I think dealing with it all, like, I just sort of fell into here, do you know what I mean? Dealing with it all was harder outside there than it was in here. Because in here I knew I was determined enough to learn, but it's outside perspective that I had to deal with. Mm. And would you say that, like, your upbringing, or, like, anything leading up to you getting into boxing impacted you staying it like when you got into boxing or like impact impacted you like weathered you to to sort of like enjoy boxing because i come from you know as a kid i was never uh beaten up or like i had it hard or whatever whereas like have you ever had stuff mm. like that my dad was very military okay like he was hard like i felt the backhand a few times yeah i felt the bamboo stick the belt uh, the fist everything i've got all of that uh, but i rightfully deserved um, do you know what I mean? But he was toughening me up, and that was the way he yeah. learned. Do you know what I mean? That was the way he, yeah. he become the way he become. And it, like, I remember I missed weight in one of my amateur fights. I was mucking around. I was the only kid. I was only like pound over. My dad's gone. I'm so disappointed. I'm so you embarrassed me and all that. I'm thinking like, all right, mate. And then I'll never miss weight again in my life ever because mm. of that. Or it made me work for my money. Like I'd only earn twenty euros a day. Like. That's, 20 euros a whole day's work from 8 in the morning till about 6 p.m. Yeah. painting and decorating. And that's what I got paid. He, he never gave me a single cent. Shit. Like, he's the tightest man going. Do you reckon he was trying to like, he was trying to prepare you for getting into boxing? No, 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 no? I'm gonna fire. I used to li listen to like, Jonas Brothers and Avenge 7. I used to love Jonas <laughs> Brothers. I used to love Jonas Brothers. Yeah, they were like, the, they were the, I loved them, do you know what I mean? I know, it's a bit embarrassing. I used to sing in a church choir. I played that's guitar. Good. There's nothing wrong with that. I had, I had, um, I had Purple ripped jeans and checkered like jumpers, you know, like what a skateboarder's wearing and all that. I was like, not who I am today. And then, like, no so what, at what point did it switch? Like, what happened to make that switch where it was like, okay, now Connor Ben's a boxer? Well, I actually don't know. Really? I think Pubi. Really? That's what I think. Like, just the aggression started coming out of nowhere and I st started fighting. I don't know, it was just weird. I weren't that guy though. Like, I used to love BMXing, longboarding, skateboarding, rollerblading. With the headphones in, yeah. all that. Fair enough. So I don't know. Yeah, that's the guy, that's the guy I was. Like, I don't know how I end up here. To be honest, sometimes it feels like a fluke. But and yeah. are you are you like aiming for the absolute top? Like, is it that you wanting to be the best in the world at your weight? Is that what well, you aim for the top? Yeah. But there's a lot of factors to factor in. Do you know what I mean? It's a hard sport. It's, it's I reach. I can. I reach my full potential. That's why I'm, I'm guaranteed of I'll reach whatever I reach. And as long as I know that I've given it 100%, that's just whatever I can do. That, I'm not going to go, oh, I'm going to be the greatest, and, or I'm the next, you know, like all these fighters. And then you look at them and you think, you are so delusional. Mm. I don't want to be that guy. So I'll reach as much as I can, can achieve. Fair enough. Ooh. I remember watching your, um, your fights. I remember, oh, it was the first one, the first one that you came out as. I was remember. I remember literally thinking like he's sick. Debut. In, yeah, it may have been your debut. Is it on Anthony Joshua Bill? It must have been because that's why I would have been watching it because I'm like an AJ long, fan. Long I think so. Yeah, 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 yeah. Terrible haircut. Hair how wait, How old are you now? 23. 23. I'm, how old are you? I'm 24. But I remember thinking like fuck, he's the year below and he's doing it. And yeah. like, I remember thinking that's sick. Like, as in you were you was, were like young at the time. See how you you got kind of scared. How you were uh, terrified. Yeah, yeah. terrified. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Terrified. <laughs> Imagine how I felt. Mm. Like, I was Because, like, the weight of, like, obviously your name in yeah. the boxing world, was that, like, mad pressure as well? Yeah, man. Being a Ben. When I walked out first, it was like, do you know what? Like, I'm here now, there's nothing I can do. Yeah. So I've gone out, stood there, and I've looked, and I've just thought, like, 
right, what, what am I doing here? It's the biggest fluke going. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought, that's how I felt. Mm. And then I got in there, done the business, and then it was only after like my eighth, ninth fight that I realised, do you know what? Like I just, I'm an entertaining fighter. Yeah. It's not a fluke, 16 times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 12 of them are hit. Last 12 fights, all 12 hit the canvas. And out of my 16 fights, 14 of them have hit the canvas. Mm. So that's not a fluke. No, no, no. So I can, I'm half good. Yeah. And, and that, but that obviously when you got there was it Pino Pino yeah yeah, yeah 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 when he did what he did no, obviously that, how did that knock you because everyone was like oh, I remember I Adam, Adam Smith on the commentary being like oh is yeah. he gonna come back from this all of this like all do that, you know what I mean bollocks mm. and that's exactly what that was and oh you know it's the end of the world I got back up and then put him down twice yeah. and do you know what I'll have to rematch and I'll do a number on him which is exactly what I've done yeah so and now we move on from that mm. but I'll let you all in on a little secret. Well, I just knocked the geezer out from New York. I've gone out um, in New York to celebrate. I didn't plan on fighting for the end of the year. Uh, so I've gone out partying, went to the One Oak. T-Pain was in there, we, you know, was giving it all the... Yeah, you know, yeah, out yeah, in New yeah. York, it's, it's been a once in a lifetime experience going out there fighting. I had every Dunkin' Donut on every street corner. I've yeah. come back, had a three-day Reebok photo shoot requirement. Um, I've also had to lose a stone within a week. And then uh, they've gone to me, oh yeah, yeah, this is the guy. I thought, I looked at his record, I thought, I've just knocked four geese out on the trot, some of them undefeated. I thought, a nice little payday before going Miami. Miami was straight after. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, and then voila. Well, that's pay no. That's pay no, build up. So you overlooked? 100%. I overlooked 100%. I thought, we, like, it was just silly, it was yeah. easy money, I thought. And then. Well, I mean, looking at him, like, he came out, you were like, oh, yeah. I, I thought you were going to spot him. him. Yeah, I literally was like, well, this is going to be done in like seconds. That's what I thought too. And then, well, it was over one, two, and then it was, what, I was like, up there looking like that, yeah. thinking, what am I doing here? I've never been there before, not inspiring. Yeah, because that's the thing as well, like when you've never been in that position of like, oh my God, I'm down, like surely in that moment, did you have any thoughts of like, did that throw you off? Did that make yeah, you like cloud it, you and make I you thought, think, I'm what? If you look at me, I'm a picture on the floor of me on my ass, laughing. I'm laughing, I'm, I'm smiling on the floor thinking, like, it's, it's Funny, but it's yeah, it's it funny, funny at the time, but I was on the yeah, floor, yeah, yeah. and then I'm just, I tried to play it like it was like, you know, just whatever. Yeah. And I got back up and then got put down straight away, straight after, and then I was just like, I'm actually hurt here. And then I got dragged into a proper hard fight. I needed to fight, that was the only way I was going to beat him. Yeah. So, jeez. Yeah, I know. Naughty. Mad. Was yeah, it ex how you expected it, the KSI? Uh, like, you know, watching boxing. Yeah. Did you, now you being in the ring, think, oh. Well, I, I my, my ability to control my brain went, that's what it in felt like. In the ring. So I remember, up until the bell went, I was there, I was like, mate, you're fucking nervous. You're nervous. I was saying all this shit, I was so confident. And I was feeling what, calm. What, on the way? Oh, no, no, no. It's in, as, as the referee's like, right, clean fight, and we're doing the face-to-face, -face, I was actually saying, like, you look so nervous, and I thought he did as well. And I was like, wow, I feel so confident right now. Let's go. Ding, ding, the bell went. Boom, I can't remember anything. I thought, oh, as in, like, as in I, my brain That's went. Me. My brain went, and it was like, came out, and he was just like, jab, jab. And I was just doing this, like, as in I didn't, I didn't bring my hands so down and you think. Then, now knowing what you know now, think, oh, I'll give it a crack. Now knowing what you know. Yeah. You can challenge yourself to control your mind. You're tempting me. No, I'm not. Yeah, I'm not, no, I'm not, you're not what I'm doing. No, I know, but you are. And this is what happens every time. Like when I, cause when I think about it, and like how far I've come since then, like as a man, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like yeah, all of that. I'm like so I'm a different person this? now. How long ago? This was 2018. Yeah. February so I've 2018. I've changed a lot. Yeah. Because um, we're at that age now where you grow, mm -hmm. and it's like you from about 14 to. However, you stay the same, but then when you reach, you know, the age you come in about every single year is showing so much growth. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And that's what happened with me. Every single time I've come back from a layoff, it's six months, eight months, I look so different yeah. from not just beard and shaved head and then hair and then, <laughs> but I just, I'm so much stronger. Mm. I feel it. I feel mature in the ring as well. Yeah. So it's crazy though. Yeah. Mad game, bitch. Sure, mate. Oh, I need this espresso. All right, where's Hearn? Need to have a word. Do you feel the crowd? Yeah, I do. Like, it gives you an extra bit of. I don't know when you when you get people. When I walked out, my fight with Payne, second fight was probably the most significant fight for me because I walked out and when they said my name and that, but mate, 
they were there for me. It was better than my debut because in that fight, people were there for AJ. Yeah. This fight, people turn up for me. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, and I mean, I had goosebumps and I was so overwhelmed by love and support. Like it was like, shit. The adrenaline must be insane. Yeah, but that's people, the only time I've really ever felt it. Yeah, for me, that, the crowd all being like, well, uh, well, like yeah. that, that, I think, added to my brain just going scrambled. Because that was just too much like, what Yeah, but you've got fuck? to use that. I know, but that's what, like you say, like, now, yeah. I've sort of like, realised that and come to terms with that. Whereas in that moment, you know, I'd been training alone, you know, in a gym. Yeah. For seven months, and then now I was boom in the middle of a sold-out crowd, and it was like that contrast. My, it just yeah, I wasn't prepared for it yeah. sort of thing, which is weird because like, I was thinking about it every day in the gym. Yeah. But when you're actually there, it was different. See, I can re, I can actually relive it in my head. Yeah. Like I, I can dream. I, I can think about. It. I can see everything clear as day. So when I've got a fight day leading up to a fight day, I can. I'm in the fight in my head in bed. Like I'm actually in it, I can feel it, I can mm. see the sweat coming off his face, I can hear the crowd, yeah. but for real. And then, so then come fight night, it's nothing new. Mm. So, but what I don't think about, which is what I'm gonna start thinking about more, is being in the changing room. Because yeah. when I'm in the changing room is when I get most nervous. Yeah. The walkout's sweet, I can walk out, that's fine. It's the, in the changing room when I burn up a lot of energy on nerves. So uh, now program myself to think about changing them rather than actual fights in the final yeah. suite anyway. Yeah, and when you like when you get in the ring, would you say like there's a switch? Like and you become a like killer that doesn't give up like shit yeah. if you absolutely like if you but yeah, if so you my, hurt the man like Yeah so my opponent, can, my last fight, mm. I've hit him, I've gone catch, counter, caught him, and then I throw a left up right hand, but that caught him. But he was gone. His eyes were already rolling at the back of his head. The ref was about to jump in and stop it anyway. Yeah. So I see him hurt. Fuck, take that. Left hook on the way down and a right hand. And, and, and then I realised, I said to my dad afterwards, he's like, do you know what? Like, like I'm, when you're in there, you don't care. You really don't care. You're not thinking about his well-being. Yeah. I'll make sure he ain't getting up. Do you know what I mean? So that's, that my mind, that's your mindset when you get in there. Okay, so we're now gonna do um, a little, one of us punches, one of us defends. So I'm gonna try and punch Connor. How long have I got? 30 seconds. Yeah. In 30 seconds, can I land a punch? Or how many can how I many? land? Can how many can I land? So we'll see. It's weird that when you think about it, who goes, yeah, see how many punches he can land. It's just weird, isn't it? Because who wants that? Clearly off my rock, right? <sighs> we'll see. So you reckon I'm not gonna land one? No, you'll land, you'll land. We'll see. We'll see. I'm not, I'm not seeing you yeah. move, so we'll, we'll see. Right. But the question is, how many of them can I counter? Counter? Oh. <laughs> Bare knuckle. I thought, you know what, we'll see how we get on with uh, the headshot challenge. See how many punches he can land. And see if you lot can count how many punches he lands in 30 seconds. All right, let's go. Yeah. Cool. All right, are you ready? Two, one, go. How do you feel? All right, mate. Like the thing is, <laughs> there were times when I was just like boom, 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 on like just hitting the air. I know. And it's just like, is that you like seeing where, where it's coming from, or are you just guessing like what I'm gonna follow it, it up me. with? No, no, I, I just moved. Don't land. Yeah. 
right there. Thumb in the eye, have a look. Have I got a pink eye? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, my turn. My turn, Ninja. <laughs> oh. Surely not. Oh, good work. Well, day in life for boxing. Every day, it's all we do, try and maintain high work rate. You caught me good, in the eye, with something. With something? With a punch, obviously. Do you not see it? No. Yeah, innit? You think you're doing one minute of that? Oh, actual sprint. Like, so that sort of intensity, is it like, think that over a whole 12 round fight? Is it ever um, like that? The way I fight, it is like that. Turn around, room. Yeah, because I'm just thinking, how, like, how do you maintain that, even if you are like well fit? Well, if you see the training, turn around. If you see the training I do do, yeah. it's like, it's not what you're doing. The training's so hard. Like, it's so hard. Yeah. 